Not all superheroes wear capes, so they say, and it's true that if you find yourself in a life or death situation, the chances a Batman, Superman, or Arm Fall Off Boy, yeah, that's a real DC superhero, coming to save you are pretty low. But on the other hand, you might just end up being saved by a regular person who just happens to have some superhero powers hidden away. From the flight attendant who understood a secret message, to the woman who helped the boy who missed his bus stop, here's 20 real-life superheroes caught saving people. <sighs> Number 20. A Flight Attendant Saving the Girl's Life from Kidnappers when a flight attendant noticed, help me, scribbled in the airplane toilet, she immediately advised the pilot to contact the authorities. Planes are associated with one thing for many of us, vacation. With so many people going to and from holiday destinations and letting their troubles wash away, the ambience aboard aircraft can be rather joyful. Sheila Frederick works for Alaska Airlines as a flight attendant. However, something caught her attention on a normal journey to San Francisco, USA. Flight attendant sees help me written in aircraft, toilet, promptly urges pilot to call the police. This is how the story went. A well-dressed gentleman sat next to a young blonde girl clothed in ragged clothing. When Sheila went by, she looked up, and it seemed as if the girl's eyes were piercing directly into her soul. When Sheila attempted to converse with the man, he became irritable right away. She sensed something was amiss right away and went to the aircraft bathroom to leave a piece of paper and a pen. She motioned for the girl to use the restroom as she passed past her again. When Sheila returned to the the bathroom, she saw the girl had followed Sheila's instructions, and on the slip of paper were the words, help me. According to the Independent, Sheila went directly to the pilot, who assisted in summoning the police to meet them when they arrived in San Francisco. The girl had been kidnapped two months prior and had been a victim of human trafficking. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Mystery woman returns boy to his family after he gets off at the wrong bus stop. After their six-year-old kid got off the bus at the wrong stop, a Cypress family is grateful to an angel who guided him. After months of virtual learning, Colton Franklin, the Franklin family's six-year-old, was commencing courses at Postma Elementary. The child was heading to school on the bus and knew he needed to wear his face mask. He was scheduled to meet his elder brother Gavin at the bus stop and walk home with him at 4.30 p.m., but neither of those things happened. Mom, Colton didn't get off the bus, Gavin tells me. And I'm thinking, oh shoot, Arlene Lightfoot Franklin, the mother said. Gavin would have arrived late at the bus stop, and the bus driver would have driven him back to university, she reasoned. However, when she phoned the primary school, she was informed that her first grader son had boarded the bus, and he's on his way home, and I'm like, well, he's not home. He didn't get off the bus. And we talked to the bus driver, and she said he wasn't on the bus. Us, she told me to go ahead and talk to transportation. Lightfoot Franklin said her husband and Arlene kept phoning the university and the SciFair ISD's transportation department. She received a notice from her ring doorbell camera indicating there was activity at her front door as they were traveling around the Mira Mesa neighborhood. She was traveling down West Road when she noticed Colton fleeing, according to the Good Samaritan. Lightfoot Franklin said, and she said it appeared like he was running for his life because it was Colton's first day back in the school. His address was written on his shirt, and the instructor put it there just in case. Number 18. Woman Saves Family of Six from House Fire after rescuing the family next door from a home fire, an Avondale, Arizona woman has been dubbed a hero. The whole thing was captured on tape by the house's ring doorbell camera. Carolyn Palish remarked, All I could think of was the kids. Palish claimed she was getting ready on New Year's Day when she saw smoke pouring from her neighbor's house. Nicole Salgado, her husband David, 
and their four children live in the residence. We were all dozing off, Salgado explained. Carolyn continued to pound on the door until the entire family of six had safely exited. Salgado stated, she made sure we got out of that place. Every second was crucial. The firefighters warned us that if the fire had happened five minutes later, the roof would have collapsed on us, Salgado recalled. Palish was glad for the opportunity to assist. I've been a nurse for 40 years, and you hope that you've always done good for everyone, but to actually see the results, and to see them alive and well, and their children are here, can't ask for nothing else, said Polish. Nicole and David, her next-door neighbors, also worked in the medical field. They were much more than simply next-door neighbors after that morning. She's family and she'll always be part of our life, you know? She was instrumental in saving our lives, Salgado stated. The fire's cause is still being investigated. According to Salgado, firemen informed her that the house is now uninhabitable. Number 17. Chinese Woman Saves Choking Teenager in Restaurant in a restaurant in eastern China, a woman performed the Heimlich maneuver on a high school kid who was choking on food. The video, which was shot in the Shandong province city in Laocheng, shows a teenage kid being suffocated by the food and becoming short of breath. The abdominal thrusts were performed by a lady who wrapped her arms around the boy's waist and bowed him forward. The youngster coughed up the morsel after around 76 seconds. The Heimlich technique is a first aid treatment for treating foreign item choking in the upper airway. It was discovered by American doctor Henry Heimlich, who is widely attributed with the discovery. Abdominal thrusts are performed by a rescuer standing behind a patient and applying pressure at the bottom of the diaphragm with their hands. This compresses the lungs and applies pressure to any item stuck in the trachea, resulting in the object being expelled. The American Heart Association the American Red Cross, and the European Resuscitation Council all propose numerous phases for airway blockages, with each stage increasing the amount of pressure used. Most guidelines include for persuading the sufferer to cough, followed by harsh back slaps, and as a last option, abdominal or chest thrusts. Abdominal thrusts and back slaps should be alternated according to certain standards. Number 16. Good Samaritans Save Driver From Overturned Truck one morning, a group of Good Samaritans raced to the aid of a pickup truck driver who had rolled over on Interstate 88 in a Chicago neighborhood. The pickup truck turns over following a tire rupture in the westbound lanes of I-88 in Oak Brook, Illinois around 6.47 a.m., according to video from a news helicopter. Several construction workers were among the Good Samaritans who stepped out of their automobiles and flipped the pickup truck back on its side. When Tom Mayers saw the collision, he was on his way from his full-time firefighter job in Rosemont, Illinois, to his part-time firefighting job in Aurora Township, Illinois. Mayors arrived after the pickup truck's passenger side had been lifted up and sprang to action. At that point, I knew we had to get the windshield and try to cut the seat belt, Mayors said. Using the construction worker's tools, Tom and the others shattered the windshield and ripped the driver's seat belt off. Releasing him, he was standing there and he said, I want to get out, Mayors said. I said we should probably wait for the fire department to show up and that's when he proceeded to jump out the window. When when the group saw he was fine, they began to applaud. When firefighters and an ambulance from Oak Brook, Illinois arrived, the motorists were taken to a local hospital. Anytime you see like that happen, you always have that urge to help, Mayer said. Number 15. Video shows Good Samaritan take gun from robber on Blue Line train. Before the Chicago Marathon, a Good Samaritan disarmed a thief on a CTA Blue Line train, according to this video. Jean-Paul Lapierre stepped off the train at Cumberland and questioned another rider why marathoners appeared to be rushing for the doors. 
I said this doesn't seem like the right way. He said, no, there's a guy on the train walking around right now, robbing people. That kind of made me mad. He made the decision to return to the train and face the man on his own. What occurred next was captured on film by a railway passenger who was still on board. LaPierre grapples with the robber and pins him against the train side, yanking the revolver from his grip in the process. LaPierre is yelled at by the suspect to let him go, but he refuses fuses. The 54-year-old who manages a store facility in the Boston region claimed he's used to dealing with tough dudes. In his youth, he competed in Golden Gloves boxing, which prepared him for this fight. I'm a boxer, he says. In the video, he threatens, I'll break your head in one punch. A marathon runner, who had been threatened just seconds before, claimed she was grateful for LaPierre's presence. LaPierre passed the revolver to another passenger. After removing it from the suspected robber's grip, the man's pals on the train tried to scare him into letting him go. But he held on until police came, according to him. Number 14. Good Samaritan Smash Truck Windows of Driver Who Passed Out at first sight, the dramatic encounter, which was taken on film by a passerby, appears to be a case of road rage. In reality, it's the polar opposite. I looked over to see right and I saw an older guy driving his car, said Jordan Carter, but he was leaned over. He'd passed out. On Sunday, Good Samaritans attempted to shatter the windows of a pickup truck on a major Atlanta highway because the driver was experiencing a medical emergency while the vehicle was driving. Driving. I immediately got on the truck, started kicking the rest of the windshield down, Camp Bell said. That is when I slid in and unlocked the door. Jelani Camp Bell, Carter's buddy, leapt into action when a lady smashed the back glass. I was just trying to keep him here with me in this moment, Carter said. Carter consoled the man while the doors were open. Camp Bell took the man's phone and dialed his wife's number. The Good Samaritans maintained contact with the man's wife, who reported that he was still in the hospital on Wednesday, but was improving. I stayed right there and let her know everything that's going on, and what hospital, and to follow up and let us know, Camp Bell said. Number 13. Inmate saves baby from locked SUV using his car theft skills. A group of convicts in Tampa, Florida, had received plaudits for utilizing their thieving skills to save a newborn from a locked car. According to reports, the inmates were working on a road when they observed a throng forming around a car. A man had locked his vehicle keys inside his SUV with his one-year-old daughter by mistake. According to reports, the inmates were working on a road when they observed a gathering forming around a car. The ruckus and throng attracted the attention of the sheriff's deputies in charge of the group of convicts as the father and baby's mother, Shadow Landry, began to fear. The convicts reacted to the situation in their jail clothes and were able to break into the SUV and rescue the terrified toddler. The mother of the youngster posted a video of the rescue on social media. The event, according to accounts, occurred in 2019. Number 12. Two Officers Saving Choking Baby Two Palm Beach Gardens police officers saved a terrified mother whose 14-month-old daughter had gone blue after choking on a chicken nugget at the Gardens Mall. Lucia Graham has been eating solid food, and a lot of it, since she was nine months old. But the chicken nugget she was nibbling on got stuck in her throat that day, according to her mother, Anna Graham. Something was awry and Wellington mother of two could tell immediately away. The mother claimed that two Palm Beach Gardens police Police officers, who'd been sitting across the food court, appeared like angels from paradise. Officer Rafael Guadalupe went on his radio and called Palm Beach Gardens Fire Rescue as the event unfolded. He also chatted to Anna Graham to attempt to keep her calm. Ayala said he prefers to roam around the mall in uniform so that people perceive him as a deterrence to crime. He was just at the food court because Guadalupe was eating there. Lucia was checked out by paramedics as a precaution. She didn't let the fright stop her mom from finishing her meal. William, Lucia's two-and-a-half-year-old brother, seemed unmoved by the event and proceeded to eat his chicken and french fries. Number 11. Commuters Push Train to Save Trapped Man in Perth Another drama unfolds in Australia. 
this time in the western city of Perth, according to the latest reports. It appears like everyone is getting on the train in a fairly regular manner until one man takes a slip and gets his leg stuck between the train and the platform. You know the voice that says on most metro trains, mind the gap between the train and the platform? This is the reason for that. Anyway, the man must have been a little freaked out because his other passengers rushed to his aid right away to assist him. One person asks for assistance from the guard while another tries to help the man in freeing himself. The number of persons present at this time is only three or four. However, more commuters arrive shortly after. These Australians have realized that if they all work together, they would be able to release this unfortunate man. They all place their hands on the train and begin to push, causing the locomotive to lean back and the gap to widen, ultimately allowing the guy to be freed from his trap. Number 10. Illinois Police Officer Rushes Little Boy's Rescue on Busy Highway in a heart-stopping video, an officer is shown saving a youngster running along a busy road in a Chicago neighborhood. The little kid eluded his mother's careful eye, escaped his house, and was discovered running on Route 59 by Sergeant Anthony Manino. According to the dashcam footage, the youngster was wobbling in and out of a lane of traffic as automobiles and trucks sped past, leading the officer to yell and chase him down. Come here, Manino screams. Hey! As he sprints after the small child, Manino assures the boy, you're okay, before leading him away and asking his name. No one was wounded thanks to Manino's watching while on patrol and swift action, positioning his squad car and himself between the youngster and traffic, according to the police department. On Thursday, Manino received his department's life-saving honor, according to the department. Number 9. Amazing moment, quick thinking man, saves cyclist from certain death caught on CCTV. In a tree-lined street, the camera is facing a traffic crossing. No automobiles arrive from either way as people cross the road. A biker can be seen cycling into view as a tall man in a white t-shirt and trousers crosses the road. But before she can get on the road, the man in the white t-shirt reaches out and twists her bike. She tumbles from the bike and into the roadside, but before she can yell at the man, a car slams through the crossing at high speeds. It becomes evident why the man seized her bike, he knew she would have been hit if she had been left to go over the crossing. The automobile rushes away with no one noticing, but the girl isn't so fortunate. Despite the fact that her life has been saved, she appears to be traumatized by the incident. She falls over coughing as the man helps her to her feet. Another bystander raises her bike for her, and the girl, still bewildered, accepts it and rides away. Thousands of people have seen the video after it was published to YouTube. From the guy's perspective, better safe than sorry, one user said. Number 8. Man's quick thinking saves girl dangling from building in Shanxi. When a small child was discovered hanging from a drain pipe between the 5th and 6th floors of an apartment building in China, panic followed. According to CCTV, the 6-year-old crawled out of a window at her house in Shangzi City, Shanxi's northern region. Onlookers were stunned as the child paddled to maintain her left foot on the lower level window and her grasp on a pipe from slipping. Fortunately, a quick-thinking bystander called Guo Xiaoguang saw the child's dilemma and quickly dispatched a cherry picker to the location to try a rescue. The man recalled seeing a maintenance truck parked outside the Landscape and Forestry Administration, where he now worked. To approach the girl, the man drove the car himself and enlisted the aid of a police officer and a citizen. The girl was ultimately pulled down to safety after dangling from the pipe for more than half an hour. The girl's mother explained that she had to go to work and had left her kid at home. She said that the girl wanted to play outdoors but couldn't since the door was closed, so she tried to go outside via the window. Number 7. Hero Bystanders Save Carnival Ride Goers After Nearly Tipping Over 
as shown in video obtained from the event. Bystanders at the National Cherry Festival in Michigan helped stabilize a carnival ride that looked to be malfunctioning with people aboard one evening. The Magic Carpet Ride, according to a local news site, is a fair attraction that is meant to spin in circles along a single axis while riders are seated. On this occasion, though, the ride began to swing back and forth on the other axis while in motion, nearly tipping over, as shown in footage provided by different sites from various perspectives. That's when carnival goers began to notice that the attraction wasn't working correctly from the ground. Many more hurried to the ride's base in an attempt to stabilize and secure it so the mechanics could be turned off and passengers could go to safety thanks to an original hero's fast thinking. Executive Director Cat Pei made a statement about the incident. The magic carpet ride that malfunctioned last night was removed and is en route to its manufacturer to be inspected. Inspections of the rides happen daily and written reports are filled out and completed on each ride every morning prior to operation, Pei stated. Number 6. Alabama Man Saves 11-Month-Old Niece After Accident in a remarkable incident caught on his iPhone, a 24-year-old man rescued his infant niece from a car that had fallen 100 feet off a mountaintop road in Alabama. Tyler Blake Kimbrall told reporters that he was following his sister Destiny K. Hollis, who was driving a Mitsubishi Coupe at night with her 11-month-old daughter, Braylee, when she took a wrong left on Blue Road in Colbert Heights. Hollis didn't notice that Kimbrell flashed his lights and honked his horn, he claimed. He claimed she continued down the snake-like path and vanished around a steep turn. When he turned back a few seconds later, he observed the automobile upside down on an embankment some 100 feet below the mountainous road. At first, I didn't see anything, I didn't hear anything, Kimbrell told the news, but then I heard her get out of the car, frantically screaming for Braley, who was still in the car, he said. Kimbrell stated he observed the passenger side of the automobile was crushed when he got down to it. He went on to say that he had a hard time seeing baby Braley, so he filmed footage with the light from his iPhone, positioning the phone in a specific manner to viewer. Number 5. Man Who Drove Off Bridge to Save Baby Didn't Think Twice after seeing a baby being tossed from a pickup vehicle, a guy leapt at least 25 feet from a Maryland Route 90 highway overpass to save the girl. The hero who jumped into the water to rescue a kid after she was thrown from a truck off a bridge claimed he didn't hesitate. Reporters spoke with one of the first responders on the site, who said he shook the hero's hand and praised him for what he'd done. Jonathan, the hero, spoke during a news conference from a Maryland fire station. He was dubbed a humble hero by authorities. Jonathan had stated that he wanted to stay nameless until he was certain that the baby was safe. The force of the crash threw the 18-month-old girl out of the vehicle and into the bay. That's when Jonathan, who was in another car, stepped out and leapt over the barrier, diving into the icy waters after her. Jonathan stepped out of his car with his daughter Ava and glanced over the bridge, where he spotted the infant who'd fallen face first into the river. He removed his shoes and turned to his daughter. I shouted to my kid, grab the first fireman or police person you see, she added. Then he dove into the river and saved the day. Number 4. Hero Dad Saves Two-Year-Old Daughter From Dog Attack Daughters are always the special princesses of their dads. This noble father's reaction to protect his daughter was captured on the front door video camera of his residence. Dad shielded his kid from the menacing dog that approached her directly. His bravery saved the child from being hurt. As a result, the father hurriedly moved the dog out of the way of his daughter. When the dog approached the infant, the father was concerned that the dog might harm his daughter. Before the dog could do anything to his daughter, the heroic father pummeled the dog and taught it a lesson it won't soon forget. There is dispute about whether particular dog breeds are intrinsically more likely to attack and cause significant bite damage. Human acts, such as a 
abuse or bite training, as well as in actions such as neglect, negligence in confinement, or lack of control, are known to increase the risk of dog bites. Every year, tens of millions of people throughout the world are bitten by dogs. Dog bites are projected to affect 2% of the U.S. population, or 4.5 to 4.7 million individuals, each year. The majority of bites happened to youngsters. During the 1980s and 1990s, the United States had an average of 17 fatalities each year. Between 2005 and 2018, 471 individuals were killed in the United States by dog attacks, with an average of 37 deaths per year. Number 3. Sister Jumps Into Pool To Rescue Three-Year-Old after almost drowning in a Georgia apartment complex, a three-year-old was rescued by her older sister, and the entire rescue was recorded on terrifying security camera footage. On May 15th, Callie Dallas was spotted diving into the pool at the Chambly apartment complex. She flips forward face first, despite having a green floaty around her waist. Callie then attempts to keep afloat, swinging her arms and feet. Her 10-year-old sister, who was at the other end of the pool, quickly notices that her sister is in danger and dashes over to save her. Jayla dived into the pool and dragged her sister to safety. She was heavy, Jayla explained, so I had to lift her by her hair and then grasp her by her waist and pull her up. According to the site, a witness contacted 911 as Callie's aunt and the housing operations manager took turns trying CPR. Ed Lyons rushed to the site after hearing the call, according to police body cam evidence. He was seen on camera performing CPR on the motionless little child and checking her pulse. Callie was placed on a ventilator after being transferred to the hospital. Despite physicians' initial doubts that she would survive, the young girl made a miraculous recovery and was permitted to return home a few days later. Number 2. Strangers Save Father and Two Babies Trapped Inside Overturned Truck During Floods Despite the fact that millions of people have viewed this five-minute mobile phone video capturing the moment, strangers saved a little girl and her infant brother. The children's mother is still unable to watch the entire clip. After tornadoes and heavy weather battered the region one night, this footage was shot near Canton, Texas. Emily Ocheltree claims that her husband, Philip, has seen it, but she has yet to see it. When their pickup was swept off the road and rolled over, the family was trying to find a storm shelter in East Texas between bouts of severe rain. The couple desperately sought to release their four-month-old baby Marshall and their 18-month-old daughter Addison, also known as Addie. What they didn't realize was that a group of strangers had gathered outside the truck and were attempting to open the windows and save the people inside. Two guys began CPR on the youngsters as soon as they were removed from the vehicle. Jamie Martinez, a former Guatemalan fireman, was one of those guys. He is now a musician in North Texas, but he never lost his CPR skills. Jamie Martinez, who had surprised them, gave Emily the opportunity to hug him. The Ocheltrees embraced the stranger, praising him for saving their children. Number 1. Cop Shouts Saves Man From Oncoming Train A young police officer ran down the tracks and screamed to save a man from being hit by a train. Hey bud, hey move! The cop shouts at the man. Video from Kyle Savoya's body camera shows the moment that happened in Perth Amboy. Before the train came to a stop, the man jumped off the tracks. They had also told New Jersey Transit to slow down the train. Police officer Savoya told the man, who looked kinda stressed, to sit down. Savoya has been on the force for just seven months. Savoya can be heard asking the man to move to the side of the tracks, and he does so. The man then says, Where did you come from? Thank you so much, I'm so grateful. Oh my god, thank you. Where did you come from? Thank you. 
the guy's name has not been released, and it's not clear why he was sat on the tracks, Savoya was sent to the scene to check on the man's well-being, and he saw the train right away after someone pointed out where the man was. He and his young brother were both sworn in as officers of the city of Perth Amboy just months ago. Savoya Jr.'s late father, Sergeant Kevin Savoya Sr., was a member of the Perth Amboy Police Force for more than 28 years. Could you save someone whose life was in danger? Who's your favorite superhero? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.